Hi there, normally at this time of year, mid-January, I'd be out enjoying the snow in the mountains, but this year it's not to be. Anyway, I did catch up with Katie Ormrod, professional snowboarder and Red Bull athlete. She's out in the Alps at the moment and getting ready uh, for a competition next week. Hi, Katie, how are you? How's it going? Uh, yeah, really good, thanks. You? Yeah, yeah, pretty good. I mean, pretty good considering that normally at this time of year, you know, I'd at least be either in the mountains and the snow or looking forward to a, a, a trip coming up very shortly. And, and of course, this year, that is different. I'm, I'm here in the UK and it looks like I might be here for quite a while. So where, whereabouts are you, Katie, at the moment? I'm currently in Kreisberg, Austria, but I'm heading to Lark, Switzerland tomorrow for the Lark's Open. So last week was the, um, the first World Cup of the season. It was also the first Olympic qualifier as well. Um, and that was a big air here in Kreisberg. So yeah, I came eighth, which I'm super excited about, like great start to the season. And it's nice to like get a good result in the bag as well when it is such an important season for qualifying for the Olympics. So, I mean, obviously I'm just going to jump to that actually, as, as, you, as you've mentioned, the Olympics coming up uh, next winter. And, you know, you've, you've had your fair share of, of challenges uh, in the past, <laughs> uh, getting to Winter Olympic Games. and. Uh, with the, with everything that's going on right now in the world and, and also with your own, you know, training and, and recovery from injuries and uh, that you've had in the past, how, how confident are you that you're going to be there uh, this time around? Yeah, I'm feeling really confident. Um, I'm super excited that these World Cups are able to happen this season, especially with everything going on. Um, so I'm just focusing on doing as well as I can at all these World Cups um, because this season every World Cup counts. So I'm just trying to accumulate as many points as possible so that I can qualify. Um, but I am feeling like really confident and my riding's really good at the minute. I've had a really great pre-season for training. So I'm just really excited to like get stuck into more of the World Cups and then hopefully yeah. qualify and see how it goes. 2014, I just missed out. 2018, I actually qualified, got sure. there, was in like the best position possible. And then, yeah, just got injured, unfortunately. But this time is my time, hopefully. <laughs> Absolutely. What's it like right now, considering everything that's going on with the COVID side, I mean, and how different has it been as an experience for you uh, dealing with, with all of that at the moment? It's definitely different, um, especially travel wise. Like, I feel really lucky that I am even here, um, able to do these competitions because obviously it's such a crazy time, especially with this new variant. Um, so it's made travel a lot harder. Um, but that's just m means that, um, yeah, I've just got to take everything as it comes, really. Like, you don't really know what's going to happen. Um, we're having to be really careful, like, taking lots of precautions, like COVID measures and guidelines and do everything, like, by the book, like, be really safe. I think everyone's in the same position, especially at the World Cups. You know, everyone's everyone wants to be able to compete. So in order to do that, you have to... Um, you know, test negative because we are getting regular COVID tests, which means that everyone's being as safe as they can be. Um, so everyone's got a mask on, social distancing. Um, so it does feel really safe out here. Oh, that's good. You know, I was watching this video earlier, a new video called Flying High that you've you've made with Red Bull. And take take us just through a little bit of that. And and actually what I'm I'm really interested in is your, is your thought process as you hit as you hit one of those big, big jumps. There's only a few seconds in the air, like you, you said on that video, there's only a few seconds in the air. But during those seconds, you're doing so much and, and your, brain, your brain must have to be so uh, active to understand what you're doing. Or is it all just muscle, muscle memory? There's like so much that goes into it. And I've been snowboarding since I was five. So I've had a lot of time to like do lots of repetitions of tricks. So like for me, when I go into a jump, um, there's so much that I focus on before even dropping in, like... Um, focusing on the running that I'm going to do, how many speed checks, turns, and then my setup on the jump as well. I focus on that and then I drop in and it's just pure like focus. And then when I'm in the air, again, it's like full focus, but also like pure enjoyment and adrenaline. And like I said, you know, you're only in the air for a few seconds, but it is the most amazing feeling. And you just, once you, you know, you got hold of the grab, you just go with it and enjoy the feeling and then land. And yeah, I absolutely love it. So does fear come into it at all? Do you still sometimes get a little bit of tinge of that as you're heading at 50 kilometers an hour towards a huge kicker? 
Um, I feel pretty confident now every now and again if you turn up to a new place because everywhere has different jumps and rails um, usually getting the first jump out of the way is a good feeling and then you're like into yeah. it but um, and also learning new tricks like that first one you get a bit more adrenaline than your other ones but it's a really good feeling all around. Great okay and what's your favourite place to ride normally? Uh, I mean, there are so many amazing places. Like, I love pretty much everywhere I go. But I know it's a silly I do, question, but... Yeah. <laughs> um, I do really like Larks in Switzerland. Um, I think it's such a like beautiful mountain. And I've been going there since I was nine because um, I started doing the British Championships there from being young yeah. and going like every year. So I, I really love that place. And also, do you, do you get to do some fun recreational snowboarding, some free riding, some off-piece snowboarding sometimes? I mean, is that something you enjoy? I mean, I take every day as it comes really, like I go training and then sometimes if it's snowed, you know, we'll do a few little powder turns and things like that. So, but every day is a fun day when you're snowboarding. <laughs> <laughs> every day is a fun day when you're snowboarding. Well, I think we'll leave it there, Katie. That's um, fantastic. Thanks very much. Good luck in Lux next week and I uh, hope it goes well. We'll be following you, I'm sure. And, and you know, following your path to the Winter Olympics in Beijing uh, 2022. Uh, next year so yeah thanks thanks for joining us thank Take you care.